Greeting citizens of the world, we are anonymous. The time has come for a movement morally strong enough to do battle against the forces of evil, bigotry and fascism that have come to the forefront of this election cycle in the United States. Morality dictates a movement of those who can neither be bought nor sold, who will not compromise in defense of the innocent, regardless of their ethnicity, religion or place of birth. It is a movement that realizes that one right above all others emanates from nature itself, and not the state. The right to resist for even if you take our freedom, or our lives, you cannot stop us from resisting your oppression and injustice, by our words and deeds alike. One candidate in particular, Donald Trump, has set his ambitions on the White House, in order to promote an agenda of fascism and xenophobia, as well as the religious persecution of Muslims through totalitarian policies. He has proposed targeting family members of suspected terrorists for assassination, even while acknowledging that they are innocent. He said this will serve as a deterrent for terrorism, when in fact it is terrorism itself, and would only lead to more violence from those whose families were killed by the Trump regime. He has proposed the mass door-to-door -door roundups of 11 million people, because they were born in Mexico, a nation from which the United States stole a great deal of land through violence. Our Mexican brothers and sisters did not cross the border, the border crossed them. No human being is illegal, instead, it is your laws and designations that are illegal, clashing with the natural tendency and right of any living being to freely migrate in order to seek new opportunities. The scale of the police state apparatus that these roundups would require has no parallel in American history. To find an accurate comparison, we must look to the Gestapo of the Nazi Third Reich. The reason these things have never been done before is because they are legal. They call for an open violation of the Constitution of the United States, as well as recognized international law. Donald Trump has also disturbingly proposed Nazi-style religious ID badges and databases to track Muslims in the United States. When asked if there was any difference between this and what Hitler did, he did not deny the fact that there was absolutely no difference. Add to this his ex-wife admitting he regularly studied the speeches of Adolf Hitler, and his own reluctance to disavow endorsements by the KKK and neo-Nazi groups and individuals. And it is clear that Trump's platform is one of white supremacy. This candidate has openly promoted violence against peaceful protesters, and his words have even been considered as possibly illegal incitement to violence and rioting by law enforcement. Members of the military and law enforcement, even secret service, must remember their oaths to defend the constitution itself, and the nation, against enemies both foreign and domestic. Donald Trump is an enemy of the Constitution and the natural rights it enshrines. His rallies are filled with brazen hatred, racism and violence. Imagine if the people of Germany, Jews, Communists, the Roma people, Gypsies, and all others targeted by the Third Reich, had risen up against Hitler during his failed campaign for office in 1932. Many of you have said to yourself, that if you were alive in Nazi Germany, then you would have done something, you would have resisted like the White Rose Society resisted. Now it is the time to prove that the White Rose Society has risen again in the United States. They are anti-Trump protests and rallies in support of their Muslim and Latino neighbors. You will recognize them by their wearing of a single white rose and the use of the hashtag White Rose Revolt on protest signs. Anonymous Red Cult stands united with the White Rose Revolt and we call on all of you, Anons and others, to stand with them and take action against Donald Trump in his new era of brown shirt, terrorists, assaulting protesters, and trying to intimidate millions of peace-loving people who happen to be a different color or religion. Seek out a White Rose Society chapter in your city or form one yourself. Take action with them. Now is the time to unite to fight fascism, to show that we are very serious about stopping any proposed forthright by the fascist Donald Trump. We have attached a gift of sorts, Trump's social security number, cell phone number and other details that might be able to assist you all in independently investigating this would-be dictator. These are provided for informational purposes only. Do with them what you will, bearing in mind that you alone are responsible for your actions. As always, links in the video description. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Donald Trump. You should have expected us.